Hi guys, Dane here, and today I've got like, I guess the first part of my October book haul. So I went into Tesco, which is just my local supermarket, and they have a book exchange in there where you can drop any books off you don't want, and you can also buy the books for 50p, the money goes to charity. So I picked up these two. I got Virginia Woolf to the Lighthouse, and Jeanette Winterson, Oranges Are Not the Only Fruit. So I joked when I posted these on Instagram that this was like my feminist book haul. Um, been re I've been reading this one already, been really enjoying it, so that's a good sign. And Virginia Woolf, I've previously read um, Mrs. Dalloway, and it was my most hated book. And then I reread it and didn't hate it. I thought it was okay. So now we're going to try this one. Mm, that's where we're at. I have a parcel. Hooray, it finally got here. So I ordered this a while back, and it got lost in the post. So they said they'd send me another one. And that was like two weeks ago and it's finally got here. This is Seriously Just Go To Sleep by Adam Mansback, illustrated by Ricardo Cortez. And uh, basically Adam Mansback wrote a book called Go The Fuck To Sleep. And this is the sequel to it. Bleary and dazed I awaken to find your eyes shut so I keep. My fingers crossed tight as I tiptoe away and pray that you're really asleep. And there's a nice little Easter egg there of a copy of Go The Fuck To Sleep in the background. So yeah, also it's good to get children's books because then I can immediately tick them off my TBR. <laughs> Hello! Well, it is me and I have this book to show you. This is Fade Diver. This is how good my French is. This is Fade, Div Fade Diver by Anouk Ricard. And this is French cartoons. So I'm trying to learn French. So I thought this might be... Well, well I asked my French friend. Friend? Friend. We'll say friend for now. Uh... <laughs> To bring me back a book from France. I can't speak French at all, really. Trois ouvriers travaillant sur un pylon EDF visé par des Three open workers on an EDF pylon being shot at, I think. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, good. And along similar lines, here we have Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Le Chien de Basqueville. Mmm, the Hound of the Baskervilles. Look, it's just the dog of Baskerville. Mmm. Bonjour. I've got some more books in French. So I got this at the Tesco Book Exchange, which is Le Marchand de Venise, which is The Merchant of Venice by William Shakespeare. Haven't read it in English, so I'm probably going to get an English version as well so I can read the two alongside each other. I've actually been reading The Comedians by Graham Greene, and in this there have been a few references to uh, Romeo and Juliet in French, particularly the character of Frere Laurent, uh, Friar Laurent. So, um, yeah, it'd be cool to read some, some Shakespeare in French, and it was like 50p, so that's good. I also, while I was there, actually, I got The Tower of London, sorry, Discovering the Tower of London, a Ladybird book by... Peter Hammond, and this is just like a children's non-fiction book about the Tower of London. So here we've got like some of the prisoners of the tower, all the history. Uh, we've even got stuff like about what happened when there was the development of gunpowder. Who got Henry VIII's armor, and apparently like because he kept getting fatter and fatter, they kept having to make you know new armor for him. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then uh, <laughs> Machery gave me this. Uh, <laughs> Edgar Allan Poe, Trois Nouvelles, uh, three short stories. So it's got Le Chute de la Maison Usher, uh, The Fall of the House of Usher, Le Chien Noir, The Black Cat, and La Barrique de Montelard. <laughs> I can't even, there's no way I can do that. I can't say that in English. La Barrique de Montelado, The Cask of a Montelado. So yeah. And this is pretty cool because it's got English and French um, on each side. So this side, the left side is English, the right side's French. And, um, yeah, no, Amy gave this to me, and basically she used this when she was learning English, when she first moved to England, because obviously she speaks French, so she used this to read, to learn English. It's kind of cool that now I'm going to try and do it the other way around. Plus, I mean, it's Poe. I think I've read all three of these. I'm not sure about Le Chant Noir. I don't know whether I've read that one. Who knows? Ooh, a pear just fell at me. I can't remember whether I hauled these or not, so I'm just going to film these quickly again. We have Happy Slap by a Jellyfish, The Worlds of Carl Pilkington. Um, yeah, he's, in fact, I did do these because I remember doing these. So, yeah, we also have Parlez Moi, Bar Parle Moi by Pascal Rose. Uh, I did do those, so that's good. We already know about that. Here we have this. This has arrived in the post today. 
And this is The Merchant of Venice by William Shakespeare. And uh, basically, I, I got this because um, I have Le Marchand de Venice in, um, in French. But I haven't read it in English, so I kind of need to read the two of them side by side. Oh, we've got somebody's notes in this one too. That's quite cool. Very nice. I'm looking forward to getting to this. I'd like. I'm looking forward to reading Shakespeare in French. I imagine it'd be, be beautiful. All right, my camera's back. You may notice there is a sudden upswing in quality. I have one last parcel to share with you guys for this haul. It might. This is probably going to be out super late because I have to get all the files off my phone. And my phone, when I plug it in, for some reason it doesn't pick up all of the files, just some of them. So the remainder of them all have to upload on my terrible internet. Which literally takes like two days to upload a 100 megabyte file or something. Anyway, this book here is Down Under by Bill Bryson. I guess I'll keep this version. I've just read and finished reading and reviewing the paperback version of this. This is Down Under and this is like his travels in Australia. Basically, I thought I'd lost my copy of the book, so I ordered another copy after about two weeks. And then the day I ordered another copy, I found my old copy. So now I have two. So I'll probably keep this one, because this is a nice little hardback, and then I will give the paperback to a friend. So anyway, there we have it. Those are all the books that I got in October. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.